Moving on to the West Coast as the exodus from San Francisco continues because of things like this. A local reporter sharing this video of thieves stealing tens of thousands of merchandise from a downtown fending store. Business owners have had enough. You can see all the major retailers moving out. You got the California Senate passed a law discouraging employees from punishing shoplifters. So with crime, homelessness, and drugs out of control, even a Good Morning America reporter is acknowledging how bad it is. But it is worth mentioning that we are not at Union Square or the Westfield Mall this morning because we have been advised it is simply too dangerous to be there at this hour. Welcome to the club. Joining me now to discuss is former San Francisco police officer and friend Joel Alworth. Uh, Joel, thanks so much for joining the program. OK, I, I, I appreciate these Johnny Come Lately reporters finally talking about the crisis going on. But we've been talking about this for years. And I, and I guess this is the rock, rock bottom point, Joel. Yeah, haven't we been talking about this for years? I mean, you and I just discussed the mm -hmm. terrible you know, propositions like Prop 47 that led to incentivizing criminals to do these crimes. And then you had radical DAs like Chesa Boudin and George Gascon, who really just allowed criminals to run rampant and run wild. On top of Mayor London Breed and many of the politicians in San Francisco limiting the police from doing their job with restrictive policies. And so you have an apathetic police department who's really unable to control the crime or even enforce it because nothing happens. And you're left with this. You know, Joel, I, I was just watching this interview that uh, Governor uh, Newsom did with Sean Hannity, and it's clear that even the governor doesn't feel like there's a problem. Um, he feels like this is blown out of proportion by uh, what he calls right-wing right -wing media and conservatives, but he feels like California is safer than uh, Republican states. As someone that police the streets on a day-to-day -day basis, do you agree with the governor? Well, the governor is out of touch. I don't think he even touches base in San Francisco unless he's dining, of course, at the French Laundry. Well, there's that. But <laughs> you know, he has no idea what's really happening. He has no pulse. And it's a political thing for him to say that. Naturally, he's going to say that. But listen, the fact of the matter is all of these stores, I've counted over 24 stores, not including Whole Foods. When I last saw you, Whole Foods had just closed. Mm -hmm. SFPD was working at overtime at many of these stores just trying to get a grip on the crime to prevent the, th the thieves and the thefts that are happening rampantly, and we can't control it, even with the cops staying there almost, you know, 24 seven. So if crime were not an issue, you wouldn't be paying cops to stand a post on overtime to prevent it. And even with them standing overtime, we can't control it. So, you know, I, I think Newsom is a little bit out of touch when he says that. And it's like Mayor London Breed said, you know, I heard her in an article say that she's blaming it on the fact that people are going back home to work. and. Let's face it, San Francisco makes most of their money on tourism and people going out and spending money at restaurants. That's not happening because it's not safe to do so. Yeah, Joe, I'm just curious. I mean, I, I was in San Francisco three weeks ago. I just got back from L.A., much of the same issues. How do we turn it around? Is, is, is it just strictly policing? Is it uh, punishing people for the action? Is the homeless individuals that are on the street doing this? I mean, how do we attack this problem? Listen, I'm always a guy who thinks the glass is half, half full, and I really believe it, over time they'll be able to turn it around, but it's going to take time. I mean, this problem didn't occur overnight, right? This It's a multifaceted problem with radical DAs, harsh lockdowns that San Francisco deployed compared to other states like Florida and Texas. You've got uh, the homelessness and the drugs that were incentivized by crimes being very lack of days, you know, be, being very lax. So it's just going to take time. I think we need to incentivize business owners and people to come and spend money in San Francisco. And you're not going to do that when it's not safe. Police staffing is at an all time low. You know, the police officers need to be empowered. And again, like you said, we are not going to arrest our way out of this problem. It's going to be a multifaceted approach and it's just going to take time. Yeah. What's the use of arresting these people if the DA is just going to allow them to be right back on the street? It just doesn't make any sense. Joel, thanks so much for joining the program. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.